Strawberry 17 was in fact trying to lose a life. Your Honor, I have some more evidence to present. I'll put it on the screen for everyone. I'm so sorry, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Can you all see this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Guys, I have brand new merch available on my merch store. The link is in the description below, so make sure to grab it while you can before we change it out. Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of X Live. And today we are starting in the spawn area. Now I know you might be like, why? Why are we here? You're always at your base. And I know I am. But as you can see from that tiny little sign behind me, it says plot taken. And that is because I have cleared out this lovely flat area here to build my shop. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna dive straight into the speed build. I'm gonna set up a shop originally to sell wool. I might just use it to sell other things as and when I find them or if like I can throw them in because it's a very kind of like just cool build that doesn't necessarily scream will. So we are going to dive on into the time lapse now. <laughs> So this is the shop that we have. This is sort of the shape we're going for. Now, obviously there's still a lot to be done as in putting stock in, decorating and such, but I thought I'd give you a tour of what we have. So we have this super cute rainbow staircase, which brings you up here to the top where I've put in like a little decking. And I'm gonna put some of the fancy colored trees on like little planters up here and the way you get into the shop is through here now i'm going to put a sign there saying no entry and a sign there saying entry so to get down you just sink down in a normal water elevator i didn't want to put magma because it can do the like damage effect thing and i don't want to scare people off so i've done that for the way in and then on the inside it looks like this so under each of these aura lamps i'm going to put a crate and a block of wool so i've got red orange yellow lime green and i'm going to put normal green there cyan will be light blue dark blue and then it'll be pink magenta and purple and then i'll put crates on top of them and I'll put the white, light grey, dark grey, black and brown on that side and it's gonna look super cute. I'm also gonna add in a couple of benches just to decorate. I'll put in like a kind of rug looking thing in the middle I think but this is what we're working with. I think it looks super cute. There's enough space that as I said I can add other crates of different things maybe in the middle. I could put up like shelves or more crates with random stuff in it but for now this is what we're working with. It's the wool shop for the moment. So we're going to need a bunch of oak leaves because I want to put a wall around here so that people can't like fall off and I end up getting sued like Joel is. I also want to make some signs. I'm just going to pop a no entry sign here. Oh wait I forgot you can put signs and water blocks. I need to get rid of this. There we go. I don't actually want the water on that very top block because it'll still shoot you out anyway. Entrance and no entry and then on this bit I'll also put no entry and exit and like you see in there it just shoots you up a little bit and then you're back up on the surface. Now let's go and grab some oak leaves just from the trees out the back here because I want to make some oak hedges. That's the plan, that's what we're going to do. Also don't worry I'm going to chop down these trees, I'm not just going to leave it standing like some hooligan. Okay yeah that's definitely enough, it might actually be too much. We'll see. Oh yeah that's definitely too much. So I think I just kind of want to line the wall in the oak hedges. I'm not going to like overlap them to make sure that they definitely connect. So there will be a couple gaps in between but that's fine. There we go. That's it got the barrier so you can't even fit through those little diagonal spots so it means it is super safe and no one can hopefully see me. I mean I can't imagine someone's going to drown in that right? Like you would need to AFK in it basically. Okay the next thing I want to make are some crates. Now how do I make these? 
Oh, it's just a chest with some wood around it. Okay, now I need 16 of these in total because that's how many different colored wills there are. Okay, that's me got all 16 crates and I'm just gonna pop them there because you can still access them. The reason I'm using the crate is they give like double chest storage size. So it means it's easier to kind of keep it filled up. I also want to put a piece of wool above all of them. I think I'm just gonna sell a stack of wool for one diamond. And I don't know whether to put that in an item frame like named so it comes up saying stack of wool one diamond or whether I just put a sign up saying stack of wool one diamond. I'll decide. I'll decide later. I need to go back home and grab a bunch of wool anyway and grab some other stuff that I have ideas for. Also, I have a new friend I want you all to meet. So this is Bubbles. Bubbles is a thrasher. He's a big scary monster thing that I caught on stream. I will insert a clip now of me finding him. Here's what I'm going for. It. I got one. Go, 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 go. <laughs> And I ended up turning this into like a walk-in aquarium. Bubbles is the only thing that can be in this aquarium because he will kill everything else. So he has a nice little aquarium to himself, but it's fun to have. I don't quite know why I did it, but I did. He also makes scary noises. Okay, so for this next thing, I want the light blue wool. I'm also gonna need to make sure I grab at least one wool of everything just to put under all of the crates. I'm not spending my time to fill up the shop just yet. I will do that in one swoop hopefully with my backpack. I also want to grab some of the frosted sapling leaves to make some carpet out of because I have an idea. Okay let's go back to spawn. Okay and I think what I want to do is dig out kind of like a carpet and then I'm gonna take this light blue lamp and I'm just gonna throw down randomly just kind of like that is a way to I might move that one back and I'll throw another one there to add some light to the floor and then I'm gonna fill the rest in here with this light blue wool I'll also pop a light blue over there magenta pink green light gray dark gray black and brown and then what I'm gonna do is put this carpet on top and this kind of creates it looking like a fuzzy carpet. And it was actually an idea I got from Catherine is that's what she done when she was decorating her house. And I think it kind of covers up the fact that it's just the lamps. It makes it look like a fluffy carpet and it adds some more light to the area. And then I'm just gonna pop these down there. Kind of like waiting areas. Like, you know, if you came shopping with someone and you were like, I'm just gonna wait here while you pick out what you need and you sit. And then I also am going to put up here a little bench on the decking just so you can kind of like look out onto the world from look at this view you can see the courthouse you can see Joel's shop two heart club four heart club one heart club and then Joey's area all in view this is prime real estate I'm also just going to pop down a couple of these leaves here. And I think when I get the other leaves, I want to kind of decorate with the blue, purple, pink, yellow, and orange leaves around this area just to add more color. But I'm gonna decorate around the front with those. I also need to get a bunch of lanterns to put around because it'll get quite dark here. So we will set it today and go home and grab our lanterns. And I'm just gonna dot these all about, like I'll pop one here, I'll pop one there, one on top of that bush, just kind of every so often to make sure that the area is well lit up. And then if we go inside, I can pop up the fairy lights. And I think I'm just gonna do them from like here over to here and there over to there. And that's just another little bit of light in here. This shop looks so cute. Okay, I love it. I love it so much. Now I'm gonna need several cauldrons, but I will show you what I'm gonna do with the first one anyway. And the plan is if I pop a cauldron here, I will move this bench back one, I think otherwise kind of blocking the view. So then I'm just gonna do one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna then pop another lantern on top and then just kind of randomly, I'm just gonna pop out some branches. I think I'm just gonna do them like that for this one. I'm gonna take my lumber axe and shear the posts. And then I'm just gonna go round and make sure that like all the inside faces of the posts have some leaves against them. Now this is me kind of taking inspiration from the custom trees that Fwip built me. And the reason I've done a lantern on the top is just so that I can hide it there and have more light up here. And if I get rid of those and we go and have a look at it from below, we have a cute little tree. It's like a little potted plant. 
Now I want to kind of have like a blue one, then maybe like a purple one, a pink one over there, a yellow and an orange kind of mixed in. So I need to go and like plant some of those and collect some of the leaves, but I will probably just do that in my own time, just because you've all seen how I do it now. So it'll just be a replication of those. But this shop's come together and it's so cute. Okay, so we added a new mod that lets you make these picture frames. Now I need wood, iron and some wool and I'm going to need 16 of these because I have an idea. Okay, let's go into the shop and I'm going to place these on the top here and I worked my Photoshop magic to make my own art to put in here. So you grab it from a URL and you throw that in. You can choose whether I want the frame to be woodstone or none. I'm going to choose none. And then when I click done, bam, 64 wool equals one diamond. So I can just do that. And it then means people know that it's 64 wool for one diamond. It adds a nice pop of color along the top. And it means I don't need to worry about like item frames and using levels to name things. I love this. This is so cute. This is like my favorite shop ever. Okay, so the shop is done. It's decorated. It looks adorable. So I have five of the little trees on the top here. I put some leaves and lanterns around the outside. And if you come up around here, you can see this cute little seating area. I love these little trees and the planters. And then if you go into the shop, you'll see that I have stocked up all of the colors. The wool shop is now open. Now, I want to do some advertising for the wool shop rather than just leaving it at spawn and hoping people find it. I thought it'd be more beneficial if I head to everyone's house and put up sort of like a promotion poster sort of telling people that it's open and I did some more Photoshop work and have made a little poster that I can do. So I'm going to head over to Joey's house just because it is the closest one and this is probably a good spot. I'll just grab some wood in one of the online picture frames. I'll just pop the wood there. Picture frame, no frame, save, done. And this is the work. We've got wool shop now open and it just has like a pile of wool. I'm assuming people will figure out that it's at spawn because that's where all the shops are. So now I just need to kind of go around to everyone's houses and actually put them some like advertisements. So there is currently about to be a trial going on in the server. We have a courthouse now. People are suing. It's a lot of drama for a Minecraft server. But basically I was asked by Megan to be the judge. So I don't know why they've decided that I should have that power or what qualifications I have for that job, but I'm gonna do it. So I need to head over to spawn. I need to get on a judge appropriate outfit and head over there and serve some justice. We need to listen to both cases and let the jury decide who is it to blame for Megan's death. If you are curious about the whole process, make sure to go and check out Megan's channel because she has the whole ordeal over there. So you kind of want to go and watch that to understand the whole trial going on. But I thought I'd keep a little bit off it in my video. Also, before we cut to that, if you haven't already, have you hit the like button? Because I think you should. I think we've been loving this X-Life series and it's really cool when we're hitting these really high like goals. So if you haven't, just click the like button. It's free. Order. Everyone ready? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone may be seated. You may be seated. So we are gathered in this courthouse for the trial of Gamer Buddy versus Smallish Beans. So if the prosecution would like to give their opening statement. Is that me? Yes, that's yeah. you. Hello, jurors. Hello, everyone else. We, as a community, when we make a public space like Spawn, we expect it to be safe. When we go to spawn, we're not expecting to have to be on guard at simple local businesses. There should be a standard level of safety we can all rely on. And Joel abused that feeling of security when he built an 11 block tall ladder with no signs, no railings, and no water to fall into. Some of us don't have the best armor or the most hearts, and they're expecting us not to endanger them any more than they already are. Defense, do you like to give your opening statement? This trial is a frivolous attempt to pla pass the blame onto an innocent man. Throughout this trial, we anticipate that his moral character will be misrepresented by the opposing counsel to push a fictitious narrative of wrongdoing. Smallish Beans here is a husband, a father to two beautiful pets, and an upstanding member of the X-Life community. You will be presented with evidence of a continued pattern of reckless behavior from Strawberry17. 
to support the conclusion that she is wholly responsible for her own death on that day, not the defendant, Smallish Beans. Thank you. Shelby, I'm not a husband. What am I going to do? Okay, so if prosecution, <laughs> would you like to bring forth your evidence? We all watched Megan step off that ledge and fall to her doom. <laughs> I think that's all the evidence we need. Okay, do you want to call forth your first witness? Sorry if I cry. Um, I'm really shaken up by the events of the day. Could you yes, just first describe in your own words what you witnessed? Can you ask another question? <laughs> <laughs> So if the defense would like to bring forth your evidence. Uh, Your Honor, I present to the court Strawberry 17's Life History Book. This book details the two death events that have befallen Strawberry 17. Her first death, as we can see, was a mere 27 minutes after her arrival on X-Life. And it was caused by an unmarked lucky block, which she did not even hesitate to open. This is evidence of her reckless behavior. Objection! She definitely hesitated for like two seconds. Objection denied! Allow the defendant to continue with their speech. The opposing counsel would have you believe that in the 29 hours between her first and second death, that Strawberry 17 was invested in her survival. But this could not be further from the truth. Strawberry 17 was in fact trying to lose a life. Your Honor, I have some more evidence to present. Put it on the screen for everyone. I'm so sorry, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Can you all see this? Oh. <laughs> yes. I present to the court a screenshot of Megan's video titled Opening Lucky Blocks Until I Lose a Heart. Outright evidence that Strawberry 17 is not cautious about her antics in the X-Life world. Does the objection? Does the objection that is a clickbait title. Oh, okay, all right. Do you have any witnesses you would like to call forth? Oh, I do, Your Honor. Joey Graceffa to the stand. Mr. Graceffa, please come forth and take the stand. Judge, I have an objection. He's not wearing court, uh, <laughs> court clothes. We cannot judge everyone's ability to afford expensive clothing, Miss Mika. Uh, Mr. Graceffa, as a longtime friend of Strawberry 17, how would you mm -hmm. describe her behavior here on the X Life server? She's caused me quite distress while I've been on the server. You see, um, my first day on the server, I came across a very beautiful, small, innocent turtle um, that needed a home. <laughs> the following day, I logged on the server to see that my turtle was missing and replaced by a frog. It turns out that she murdered my <gasps> poor, innocent turtle. Now, if the prosecution would like to make your closing statement, my, I would like to make a statement. <clears throat> I <laughs> would just like to say that I love being on this server. I, I never killed a turtle. It definitely happened on its own. You know, Joel's ladder was very, very dangerous. And it's, it's, it's at spawn. What happens when Ollie comes on the server and just falls to his first death? I worry about him whenever he decides to log on. Anyways, that's it. That's all I have to say. I love the difference in like Lizzie just dropping so many bank like words. Joel paid me a block of diamond to represent him because I hey, am wait, the what? best lawyer wait on the server. Nikki, you're not paying me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Shelby's about to bring Megan back to court for not paying for legal advice. <laughs> Have the jury came to a verdict? We have come to a decision that Joel is innocent. We think what? it was just an accident, but it would be nice if he added a safety feature for next time. Okay, thank you, jury. I will take that into consideration with my sentencing. So, the jury has decided that Smallish Beans is not guilty and holds no responsibility for the loss of life from Miss Burry. It is advised by the court that you do make some alterations to make sure that we don't have a situation like this again, but it is an advice, not a law. Court is adjourned. Right, who's trying to get sued next? <laughs> <laughs> So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of X Life. We managed to set up our first shop. I'm actually really happy with how the build came out. I think it's very cute, it's very colorful, and I really think it's adorable. I could actually live here. Like, genuinely, I low-key was like, is this better than my house? It's not, but it was close to it. 
We also managed to help serve justice, or in this case, prove a man's innocence in the court today, which was a fun trial. But if you want to get all of the trial info, make sure to head over to Megan's channel and watch them all as she's got basically the whole drama going down. Go and sub to her and check out those videos to get all of the details if you're interested. But remember to leave a like, comment down below what you think of the shop, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video, and I will see you all next time. Bye!